So what are the common problems and issues to look out for in the N55 engine from BMW? It's a very good engine, it's very reliable. I do hate making these videos, but there are always with any engine, a list of common faults that crop up fairly regularly with any engine design. And just being aware of these faults can actually allow you to look out for them, mitigate the damage that these faults may go on to cause, and even nip them in the bud by addressing those faults quite early on. <laughs> So on some models, they have a problem with the high pressure fuel pump. So the high pressure fuel pump was initially the same one they used on the N55 predecessor, the N54, which had lots and lots of problems and issues. A lot of people put the problems down to the fuel grade that was used, but they never really got a handle on it. And I understand there's been a few revisions to the high pressure fuel pump over the years, but even some of the more recent versions are still subject to failures and problems. So just check in your area to see if the warranty was extended and if you're getting issues certainly have a chat with your local dealer and see if it's something that they can address. This will often lead to rough running and misfires or even a complete stall of the engine altogether. So with any engine that uses a timing chain it's made of metal, it's going to stretch, it's going to flex, it's dealing with a lot of abuse as you use the engine particularly if you're a heavy right-footed driver. So timing chains have been known to stretch or to fail completely please boot that like button because that helps us to get out there. So if you notice a rattling noise from the timing chain area on the side of the engine, get that timing chain checked very carefully. There could also be an issue with the tensioner and if you're replacing the timing chain, it's usually good practice to go out and replace the tensioner at the same time. Let us know in the comments if you've had problems with the timing chain and please stick to the service intervals or go better than the service intervals suggested by BMW in the handbook for those timing chains because they can cause catastrophic catastrophic problems if they are allowed to deteriorate and get worse. So these engines are certainly running a lot of boost and those boost pipes connected to the intercooler and the turbo and the intake are subject to quite high pressures and they are quite commonly subject to splitting or failures at the joints. So if you're experiencing some kind of boost leak, it is probably down to a connection and particularly check out those connections around the intercooler because that seems to be the weak spot that normally goes. And it's not surprising, there's a lot of heat, a lot of vibration going on in these different areas of the engine bay. So those boost pipes are doing quite a lot of work and it will certainly make sense to upgrade them, especially if you've tuned the car and you're expecting a lot more pressure to go through the system into the engine. So oil leaks are fairly unusual but the common weak spots on the N55 engine is the valve cover gasket, which can weep a little bit of oil, and the gasket on the oil filter housing. It's also worth keeping an eye out on the sump oil gasket, the oil pan gasket at the bottom of the engine. So if that's starting to fail, it may well start to seep a little bit of oil, um, again, causing problems. Not major issues, but any loss of oil is an issue. And if that gets onto the exhaust in some way, that can obviously present a fire hazard. So it's normally something you would spot. The oil tends to drip onto the hot exhaust so it will usually smoke. There is a potential fire hazard there, um, but you will generally notice the smell and the vapors coming off the exhaust of the oil burning off before it becomes a major problem. So just keep an eye on those areas that could be potential weak spots on your N55 engine. And if there are signs that the oil is starting to seep out, get those resealed and get them repaired just to make sure that this isn't a problem that's gonna cause other issues later on. So the N55 engine uses an electric water pump, which is a very clever design. It's a great system. It allows the engine to have a lot more control over the cooling, allows the engine to warm up more quickly. There are potential cooling leak problems with the engine and loss of coolant can obviously lead to air bubbles within the cooling system and prevent that cooling from actually taking place effectively causing the engine to overheat or creating hot spots within the engine. So if you notice the coolant level dropping and there's no clear explanation, get that investigated. If you've noticed coolant leaks around the engine, address whatever it is that's causing those leaks. In some cases, it may just be a split hose or a bad connector or a bad seal somewhere. So you may also start to notice a rattle from the turbo's wastegate, which is a sign that that is potentially on its way out. So the wastegate arm or the actuator tends to wear, it's doing a lot of work. You will expect these items to wear over time. But if you're starting to get that rattle, that's certainly something you need to look at 
and address before it escalates into a bigger problem. And especially if you're noticing issues with the boost, these engines are so powerful, you often won't notice fairly substantial drops in the power output just because it's such a, a big power base to work from in the first place. The PCV, the crankcase valve, is also a bit of a weak spot and problem area. And that can lead to high oil consumption issues. So if you notice that the N55 is drinking a lot of oil, it could well be down to the PCV. So get that addressed and sorted as a priority. Injector problems crop up quite a lot on the N55 engine. And these tend to happen at about 50,000 miles. So it's certainly worth getting those injectors checked for their efficiency. And if the mileage is starting to get up to about 50,000 miles, start thinking about replacing them, but look at the overall fuel system and maybe upgrade it and take that into account with your other tuning mods as well. So water pump failures are an issue. It's an electric water pump. So keep an eye on your temperatures at all times. And if you start experiencing fluctuations of temperature, like the engine not warming up or is getting too hot and you're needing to leave the engine to cool down, it could well be some issue with the electric water pump that was fitted to these engines. So get that addressed sooner rather than later because excessive heat in the N55 engine will certainly knock on to other issues and problems. So it's a direct injection engine. So as is the case with most direct injection engines, because no fuel is going on to the back of the valves, you will get carbon building up on that intake. And in some cases that can actually really hamper the airflow into the engine. So you'll be down on power. So if you suspect that the carbon buildup is starting to become a problem you can get it inspected they can put a camera into the intake and just have a check of the valves they can even remove the intake and look at the valves so a walnut blast is usually the most effective way of cleaning those valves but there are a number of chemical processes that can be done as well but certainly go to a professional and have it done properly a lot of the DIY sprays will minimize the carbon but they won't clean it up and you end up getting into a cycle there of having to do the job regularly and over and over again whereas a small Small investment with the professional would have got them back to like they were new from the factory. So the rate at which the carbon builds up will certainly depend on how you use the car. We see when people do lots of high speed driving over long distances, the carbon buildup is not so much of an issue. If people are doing lots of short journeys, the carbon buildup tends to accelerate and becomes a bit more quick. But there are a lot of factors that come into play with regard to the carbon buildup problems on the N55 engine. So I hope that's just flagged up some of the common areas with the N55 engine. It's a brilliant engine. It's rock solid. It's reliable. We need to look after these along with most other high performance engines. So always keep a check on the service intervals and make sure you keep up with that. And you should have no problem at all with your N55 engine, even when it's tuned and when you've been enjoying it quite a lot. So I hope this video has been useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel for more content involving tuning cars, getting more power out of your engine, and just generally being able to enjoy your car to the maximum amount possible. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.